Hi, honey. What's up? Hey, how was your day? It's pretty awesome. Hey, uh, don't forget we have an appointment tomorrow with the attorney at four o'clock. Oh yes, uh, I remember. Uh, what was his name? Shaw Shaw Pirelli. Oh, uh, did you check him out? Yes, I did. Christina referred it. It's supposed to be one of the best. Oh wow. Well. Shaw, your four o'clock appointment is here. Oh okay, thank you. Come on, come on. Shaw's ready for you. Samara. Nice to meet you, Samara. This is Rosa. Nice to meet you, Rosa. Have a seat, have a seat. So, how can I help you? Um, I came here on a F1 student visa, and I met Samara in the college, and we got married. Now I want to do something about my status to get it legal. Sounds easy enough. So, what is the problem? Well, the problem is that he overstayed his um, F1 student visa and uh, we went to immigration consultant and then they told us that he's actually not in a legal status anymore and he can't get sent back and he won't be able to come back for about 10 years. First, immigration consultants are not attorneys. They are not licensed to give any legal advice. Unfortunately, a lot of immigrants go to them and also they charge a big fee. Well, he told us to file for a fake asylum, and this will cost us about $15,000. Well, let me ask you a question that I asked to all the couples that come here. Sam, did you marry Reza to help him for a green card? Oh, no, no. Of course not. Did you marry Sam to get a green card? No, certainly not. Uh, I love my wife. I want to make a family with her. And I love her, you know, it's just not for the green card. Do you have any proof of your marriage, like uh, phone bills, pictures, tax returns, lease agreements, or bank accounts? Actually, we, we, did a, we had a small wedding. We were planning to have a big one, but um, we do have phone bills and utilities and stuff together, uh, our apartment leases together. Okay. You overstayed on your student visa, so did ICE visit you? What is ICE? Immigration Custom Enforcement. They are the police of the Department of Homeland Security. No. Not that I know of. All right, so you don't have to worry. We will be by your side for every step of the way. And once you retain us, our law firm, we will want you not to speak to the authorities without us present. One of us, at least. So what's the process to go forward? We will be filing an I-130 petition with an adjustment of status. And since you're married to a U.S. citizen and immediate relative, you do not have to leave the country to get your green card because you entered on a valid student visa. Oh, wow. Yes, we will fill out all the necessary forms so you can start the process of adjustments, which means you do not have to leave the U.S., provided we can prove your marriage was real and not fake. So once the whole paperwork is filed, are they going to come after me to pick me up or...? They will not do that. Because once we file the paperwork, you will be in a period of stay authorized by the Attorney General, which puts you in a pending status. Had you left the country, you would have been barred for 10 years to come back here. Luckily, you didn't leave. Thank God we didn't listen to the immigration consultant, and um, I guess we'll proceed with signing up with you. Good, you're making the right decision. Let's start the process. We will file the necessary paperwork. The next step, there will be a receipt and a fingerprinting that's going to happen. And after the fingerprinting, there will be a stage where you will have an interview at the local USCIS office. And don't worry, I'll be by your side during that interview. And once you pass, you will receive your green card. Okay. Well, thank you, Shah. Thank, thank you, you so Shah. much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much. Good good pleasure. Thank you. So I will just, I'm just going to introduce you to my assistant and we'll take it from you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you to see you. We'll be waiting a little bit, and then we will be. They will be calling us. Okay. Hello. 
long it's going to last you. 30 minutes, two hours. Calling on you, Shah. Alright. I've done hundreds of those. As long as you tell the truth, you'll be alright. Remember, you didn't do anything wrong here. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Khan? Yes, we're here. Are you Mr. Khan? I'm the attorney. Well, I was calling Mr. Khan. He can't answer. Yes, sir. Well, since I'm representing them, I can answer, can I? Please follow me. Ma'am, if you would sit here, please. You may have a seat here. Yeah. Mr. Pirelli? Right here. Before we start, I'd like to place you both under oath. Please stand. Raise your hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, yes we do. May I have your passport, ID, employment authorization, and Mr. Perel, your ID and bar card, please. Before we start, I want to let you know that anything you tell me today can be used against you. If you do not understand me, please ask. If you want to stop this interview, you may do so at any time. Counsel, I have been doing this for many years. I would appreciate it if you did not disturb the proceedings. Of course not, unless I feel it's my duty to do so. After all, it's my job to represent my clients. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I think we understand each other. First, we will go over the application. If there are any corrections to be made, I shall do so, and your counsel can review them before you sign off on the papers. Thank you very much. What is your full name and address? 5777 Hayward Drive. I asked your name first. Samara, Samara Khan. Ma'am, please, listen carefully. Listen carefully to my questions before you answer. I don't want to delay or waste your time. Thank you. Your place of birth? In Hayward, California. So, you're a U.S. born citizen? Yes. Mr. Khan, your place of birth, please? Hayward, California. What? You mean you're a U.S. born citizen? No, I thought you asked about Sam's. Again, listen very carefully. If you do not understand English, you should come back with an interpreter. I don't think that would be necessary, officer. Counsel, I would like for your client to answer, not you. Where do you currently reside? Here, California. What is your exact address? 377 Hayward, Fremont, California. Ma'am, please. Refrain from answering for him. Do you understand? Yes, sorry. Where did you two meet? At school? Pleasant in restaurant. Well, <laughs> it seems you do not have the same recollection. Counsel, I will have to separate them and do a full fraud interview. Understood. Did you understand what just happened? No, sir. Well, I'm going to ask you and your wife a series of questions. And if those answers don't match, then you have a serious problem, my friend. Why don't you make it easy on us all and admit that you just married Samaria to stay in the United States? She won't go to jail. And you can go back to Pakistan. But, sir, I do love Sam. How did you get come to the United States? On a F-1 student visa. And you came here with the intention of marrying a U.S. citizen to stay in the United States, right? I don't understand. I don't think that was a question. Right, officer? It sounded more like a statement. 
How did you meet your wife? Met at a pleasant restaurant at college. That explains his previous response. Please refrain from making any comments. Understood. When did you first kiss your wife and where? It's the same time we met the first time. What is your wife's date of birth? November 10th, 1982. Does she have any brothers or sisters? Yes, she does have a brother. Did you ever meet him? Yes, I met her brother. Did you meet your wife's parents? No, we just had a phone call. So your wife's parents did not come to the to the wedding? It was a small wedding. We didn't do much. We, we're going to have another one when we save up a lot of money. Wedding How many we people were present at the wedding? Five or ten, I guess. Five or ten? Uh, Describe your house. It's a one-bedroom apartment, and it has a living room and a kitchen. Where do you watch TV? In our bedroom. What do you have in the living room? It has a sofa and a table and, a, and an old TV. Anything else? A coffee table. Do you have a gas stove or electric? Have a gas, gas. When was the last time you and Samiria went out? Last time we went out to watch a movie. What was the name of that movie? I don't remember the name. When was the last time you and your wife had sex? This will be all for you, and I shall talk to your wife now. Thank you, sir. Okay, Ms. Khan, why don't you make it easy on all of us and admit that you married Raza so that he could stay in the United States. We will not prosecute you and Raza. He can go home to Pakistan. But, sir, we love each other. How did Raza get to the United States? He came here on a student visa. And he came here with the intention to marry a U.S. citizen and stay here? No, we really do love each other. How did you meet your husband? In college. When did you first kiss your husband and where? I, I think the first day we met. You think? You think? What's your husband's date of birth? Uh, October 10th, 1980. Does he have any brothers or sisters? Yes. Have you ever met them? No, I haven't. Did you meet your husband's parents? No, I just spoke with them over the phone. So your husband, your husband's parents didn't come to the wedding? We didn't have a big wedding. We had a small wedding. We're huh? getting ready to have a big wedding. How many people were present at the wedding? Maybe five, ten. Five or ten? Ten, ten maybe. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Shah. Thank you, thank you. Good luck to you guys. And I wish you all the best. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. And it was all your honesty that made it possible. Thanks.